Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and welcome to the last video of Inktober. Yes, so I didn't post it yesterday because I thought it'd be cool to combine both of these videos together since these characters in this video are my all-time favorite Halloween characters, like over-the-top favorite. And of course, we start out with the Sanderson sisters. I'm really excited because my friends Steph and Christina, um, it's the mouse maker in Sparkle with Steph on Instagram. Uh, Sparkle with Steph does some amazing sparkly shoes. Nobody can recreate those at all. And Christina makes the most perfect mouse ears in the world for your Disney explorations. So if you want to check them out, then go check them out. I'll put their their Instagrams down below, but we are actually planning for D23 2019 to dress up as the Sanderson sisters. Now this is my all time cosplay goal is to be one of the Sanderson sisters. So my friends, they've already picked two. So Christina is gonna be Sarah, which is the singing one, you know, the crazy one. Amok, 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 amok. <laughs> and then Steph is going to be Winnie and then I'm going to be Mary, you know, the one that um, rides around in a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I'm really excited though. It's going to be so much fun because I saw a ton of Sanderson sisters at Disney World when I went for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party and I saw the Sanderson sisters show and oh my goodness, it was the best. I feel like Halloween at Disney is just a time for everybody, all the villain people who love villains, just to go and see all their favorite characters because all the villains were in that show and it was amazing. The only villain that wasn't in the show was Ursula and I feel like a lot of people uh, love Ursula the most because I know she's definitely one of my favorite villains other than Captain Hook. So um, I don't know, I just, I loved the Sanderson sister show. It was probably the best show I saw. And I love the Boo to You parade because it had a, an extra side of creepy to it. So I, yeah, the Sanderson sisters, they, they, I, as soon as they came out on stage, oh my goodness, I have never seen a crowd go wild before. And they could sing, they could actually sing. <laughs> it was awesome. It was probably the best and I'm, that just made me pumped even more to be uh, the Sanderson sisters and to be Mary and even though I'm the most annoying of them all but it's okay I could I could go around and bark at people and go Winnie I smell children <laughs> I'm so excited but it's gonna be so much fun but if you've never seen the movie Hocus Pocus you are missing out on Halloween life it is so so good like it's probably a Halloween classic compared to the all the you know the scary movies of Halloween we've got you know what's his face I, I almost said Michael Jackson Michael Myers <laughs> Michael Myers with this hockey mask ah this is an iconic Disney Halloween movie and if you haven't seen it yet make sure you watch it this Halloween tonight because I'm gonna be definitely watching it so let's go ahead and jump into my next number one all-time favorite Halloween characters. They're not necessarily Halloween characters, but they're my all-time favorite, favorite Halloween characters, and they're ghostly individuals. Now, why did I, why did I fall in love with these two characters? And it happens to be Constance and the Hatbox Ghost from the Haunted Mansion. I actually did a Haunted Mansion tour when I was at my D Disney College program and they actually explained one story to me, I'm not going to go into detail about the whole thing, but um, they explained one story to me about Constance in the Hatbox Ghost, like what was their connection. And at the time Hatbox Ghost was put in for the diamond celebration at Disneyland, so he was put back into the Haunted Mansion, so it was his grand return. And I wanted to know the story about Hatbox Ghost and Constance. So if you look at Constance, you probably have already heard this before, so forgive me if you already heard this. If you look at Constance in the Haunted Mansion, she's in the attic, and you go past all these portraits with her and her husbands that she has beheaded. And you can see by the amount of her pearl necklaces, that's how many husbands she has had. So. You can see at each husband's portrait, there is a hat box. So you're kind of thinking, what's with the hat boxes? And then you see the hat box ghost at the end. So 
Uh, my theory is these two were probably, my. this is my theory conspiracy, these two were probably together and they were conspirators. I mean, we've seen hundreds of movies and stories where there is a wife and a husband and the wife pretends to be single. She marries these wealthy men and then she kills them and takes their money. So I feel like when these two were alive, they were together, Constance and the Hatbox Ghost, and they conspired together to kill all these men and no one ever suspected that these guys were doing it because the hapox was easily he's basically the headless ho horseman takes the heads and goes and throws them away and nobody's able to tell what happened but you know it's just a, it's a mystery and i love it it's a scary story it's a ghostly scary story and i think it's fascinating i wish there was a movie on this i wish there would be i wish there would be that what was it there uh Gil guillermo toro whatever his name is that did hellboy and a couple of other movies, Pan's Labyrinth, and he's doing another one, Strangers in the Water. He wanted to do a Haunted Mansion movie, and I wish that he would because my other husband, Ryan Gosling, was going to be in it. So I really wish that that would have went through. I mean, I love the Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion, but I feel like, wh however you say his name, Mr. Toro, I'm gonna call him Toro. <laughs> I feel like he would have really given us that good spooky, creepy feeling to the Haunted Mansion. That like would, I know how rich all his characters are and how interesting of a twist he can make it. Um, especially with Crimson Pink, Peak, which was really weird. <laughs> but uh, he just knows how to do characters well and I really wish that he would have, I wish Disney and he would have really followed through with that. Disney movie of the Haunted Mansion. I wish it would have happened. I really, really wish it would have happened. So, I my ultimate goal is to someday be Constance for Halloween. I would love to. I don't aspire to kill my husband in the future by beheading his head and dating some guy on the side that hides his head in a hat box. <laughs> but it's just fun. It's all fun and games. That's what Halloween is. It's just fun. Don't take it seriously. But yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this Inktober this year and me p posting as many videos as I could. It's been a lot of fun and I can't wait for Inktober 2018 and I will see you all in the future with like, more tutorials. We are back and more other videos. We're getting into Christmas. I've been in a Christmas state of mind lately. So let's go ahead and jump into Christmas and I will see you all later. And I will post a sketchbook tour of my Inktober doodles. So I'll see you guys pretty soon. 